Motor Week is made possible by Cars.com, Valvoline, and Goodyear. John, modern oils are a complex cocktail of base stocks and additives. And there's one additive that, well, it's been quite controversial of late. And to give us some pointers on it, we have Tom Smith. He's technical director at Valvoline. Tom, you've been here before. Welcome back. It's good to be back, Pat. All right. Now, what we're talking about here is zinc. Yes, that's, uh, and uh, the full term is zinc dialkyl dithiophosphate. And it's actually a, a whole family of chemicals, but their primary use is an anti-wear agent in motor oils. You may have heard them referred to as ZDP or zinc or simply phosphorus. Now, these have been around for a long time. Yeah, they first came into use back in the 1940s, not so much as an anti-wear additive at that time, but as a corrosion inhibitor to stop lead-copper corrosion. And they were used around uh, at a level of around 200 parts per million of phosphorus. In the late 50s, they found that they actually helped with wear performance, so they started to increase the levels. They were up around 300 parts per million of phosphorus. And then by the time we got to the 70s and 80s, we were up around uh, as high as 1,200 or 1,400 parts per million of phosphorus. Okay, but now that's been cut back, and primarily because of catalytic converters. Exactly. Now, the ZDP is, you know, it's really the best additive we have in there because it's a great antioxidant, it's a great uh, corrosion inhibitor, and it's the best anti-wear additive we've ever found. But there is a problem with it, and that's the phosphorus that's in it. Phosphorus, when it gets into the catalytic converter, can form a phosphate coating and inhibit the efficiency of the catalyst. All right, now how much has the zinc been cut back? Well, we started cutting it back in 1992, and, and that was uh, at 0.12% or 1,200 parts per million, and now we're down to 800 parts per million. All right, but does this really pose any kind of a problem? We've done a lot of work, and when I say we, the entire industry has done a lot of work to assure everybody that 800 parts per million will perform and will protect engines. Now, there is one area of concern. Now, you may have had questions about uh, flat tappet engines. Right, older engines. Yes, and with those, we th feel once the engine is broken in, 800 parts per million is fine. But in the break-in phase, you really need to have a higher level of phosphorus in there to get a good break-in. And for that, we would recommend our Valvoline VR1 racing, where we've maintained a 1,200 ppm of phosphorus level. And that gives you the, the type of protection you need for the break-in of the engine. Okay, so uh, this is a problem, but it isn't a problem. And if anybody's concerned, here's the product to address. Exactly. For, for most people, they don't need to have any concern at all. But if you're rebuilding engines, you may want to look at something like this. Great. Thank you, Thank Tom. You. And if you have a question or comment, write to me or send me a DVD video of your question and you might see yourself on TV. The address is Motor Week, Owings Mills, Maryland, 21117.